everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a really good day and enjoying your Easter holidays. For today's video, I'm going to be telling you a few facts about me just so you can get to know me a little bit better. Let's go! This bit of hair is really getting on my nerves. <laughs> the light is so hot. Okay, right. I was born in Essex, I'm 15 years old, and my birthday is on the 29th of January 2002. My favourite food is pizza, although I kind of am a little bit addicted to nuggets like most girls are, like fries. My favourite animal is without a doubt a panda, I think they're so adorable and if you watched my last video, which you should have all done, then you would have known that already. I have a big brother called Brian who is 20... 20 years old and I also have a big... <laughs> I, <laughs> I also have a big sister called Shana who is 16 and will be 17 next month. My brother was on X Factor in 2014, a lot of you would have known that because that's how a lot of you are now subscribed to me because you know my brother. Um, that sounds really big edit, but I really do mean it like that. Uh, but yeah, he made it to the live shows with his band over our generation, but they're not together anymore. But, but, they're having a reunion in August on the 5th, so if anyone wants to come, check out my Twitter. I'm going to put it right down below. Bit of promo, don't care. And you can go get your own tickets, because I will tweet it out. I'm a bit obsessed with Victoria's Secrets. Um, yeah. My favourite subject is English. I'm very bad at sports. Don't ask me to ever play sports because I probably fall and die. For GCSE, I study history, French, and music. I can play the guitar, and I'm in the middle of learning piano, partly for my uh, music course, but I just kind of I'm interested in it anyway, so I thought I'd learn it. When I was in year seven, well, it was like in the when I was in year six, and it was going, it was like in the summer holidays going into year seven. This doesn't, I can't even speak, but you all know what I mean. You know, I can't speak by now. Anyways, I dipped down my hair blue. It did turn green, which wasn't great. In year two, I cut my head open. So a friend was over the other side, and I was like running to her, like, hey, Lauren. Yeah, my best mate had the same name as me. So I ran over to her, but I slipped on the bark because the floor was all in a bark. And I hit my head in a bit, like, on the beam. But obviously, because it was, like, so bad, I didn't feel it because it, like, damaged the nerves straight away. And I was walking back to my mum, yeah, but I thought it was, like, the blood going down my face. I thought that was just tears. So it didn't really bother me. And my mum picked me up, and she was in a white top. And there was blood everywhere. And I was like, ah! Oh my god, it, like, my mum was panicking anyway, but she was trying to calm me down. And she went, don't worry, you're just going to blow it up, it's just like putting cream on. So I finally calmed down, I was like, you know what, it's alright, it's all good. And then I got to the hospital and they go, you need to stitch your head up. So me being me, shocked, crying my eyes out, mum passes out, falls down, bruises her back on a load of trays. I'm walking around the hospital, seven year old Lily telling them to look after my mum who just passed out. And I was walking around the hospital with a hole in my head, so... There you go. I've never actually broken a single bone in my body, but I have pulled the ligaments and tendons in my ankles, and I'm just always doing tendon damage and stuff like that. I do have asthma. I can't breathe. What a great thing to be bad at. My favourite colour is purple, as you can probably tell, because I have purple walls. Okay, so when I was little, I don't know why, don't, just don't ask any questions about this, but I was getting off the train, and something in my brain told me that it'd be a great idea to keep my head in the way of the doors so the doors shut on my head like that quite literally <laughs> I actually got my head stuck in train doors and then my dad had to like run down like stop stop and then like to open the doors again but um I had bruises all down the side of my face so <laughs> that tells you a lot about me <laughs> I had to run in a log, look. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you watched my last video, you would know that I kind of accidentally killed my rabbit, but I started doing performing arts when I was about seven years old, and I only quit last year. Not for any particular reason, but I just kind of... I was more focused on new things. Obviously, now I've got my YouTube channel, and there was a lot of pressure at school, so I just would be best to just leave it be. But I do still love to sing, dance, and act and everything, but it's just not something I really wanted to do anymore. I performed in four shows at my local theatre, Annie, Oliver, Little Shop of Horrors and Grease. I'm deathly afraid of snakes, I can't stand them, they actually make me want to vomit in my own mouth. I hate snakes, So I literally have so many bad dreams about snakes. Mm -mm. If I saw a snake, I would run. You know, and I told, I've already told you I don't like sports, I'm going to be running, I'll be sprinting, you will never see me again. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't do snakes. I hate mushrooms it just literally feels like someone just kicked out the grass and just told me to eat it also don't like spicy food I, I just can't I don't have anything against spicy food you know my, my aunt's India she's a great cook but I just don't like 
I just don't like spicy food because I'm too busy focusing on my tongue being burnt to enjoy the food so I don't like spicy food. <laughs> I've been to Greece, Turkey, Spain and France. I went to Paris, I think it was for my 6th birthday, I'm not sure if it was my birthday at all but it fell around my birthday so you know so I've been to Paris and I absolutely loved it and obviously I was taking a picture of Minnie Mouse and I looked up and I kind of noticed that I was plastic so I poked her in the eye. I don't think she liked it, <laughs> I was just testing. Um, <laughs> My nan lives in Greece with my granddad, so I have actually been there quite a lot of times. I used to run there and grew out there. Um, my auntie lives in Spain, and I've been there twice. And all of them my aunt and uncle. And then the other time was for my auntie's wedding. I actually sang at her wedding. I sang her wedding song for her at her reception. And when I'm older, I'd really, really like to travel America because it just looks amazing. I have a shopping addiction. So my brother is at Wembley, and he was doing like I think it was a headline gig. I'm not sure, but it was with Overload again. I didn't go because of a dance exam. Please tell me why. I missed out on this amazing opportunity, but you know, that was my fashion back then, so that's funny. You all think I'm crazy for not going and just blah 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 Anyway, stop babbling crap. So basically, my brother was at Wembley and he FaceTimed me, and he was with Little Mix, Uni and Jay, and I think it was Connor Maynard, I'm not too sure. And my brother was walking down the like, backstage, and then Jessie from Little Mix walked past, and she said hello to me. And I was fangirling so hard, I think I actually started crying and it was so embarrassing. So I wanted to work in an ice cream van when I was younger so that I could eat all the food in there and then whatever not. I was actually very, I was an embarrassment to the human race when I was younger. <laughs> Sorry mum and dad. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I, I think I was about four, maybe a bit younger. And something told me in the middle of the night that I felt the need to brush my hair. So I did and I used one of the round brush. I'm going to go get one. So I got one of these things and I just, I'm not going to do it again because I'm a bit scared from now. But, oh, it's got this hair in it. Sorry about that. But anyway, I put it through my hair and it was through my fridge. Because I had like a long outgrown fridge and I rolled it up and it was stuck. So my mum just kind of cut it off um, at about one o'clock in the morning. The next day I went to my hairdresser and she, my head at this point was right past my bum. And I just went, hey, I want my hair to be cut like Dora. So that's exactly what I had. I had a Dora haircut in the age of four, it gets worse. So I got home and I was quite upset that I didn't have the triangles in my fringe like she did. So um, I think you can guess what happened next. No, you didn't. I did. <laughs> oh, don't even. Oh. In primary school, we went on a school trip to Marsha and my mum came to help out and uh, she turned around. And I was making friends with a goat and I just thought I'd play his beard for him. So that's what I did. Um, so this is actually quite embarrassing as well. So my friend came around my house and she's actually, well she's not anymore but she was vegetarian. And I tell her and I go, Liv, do you want a bacon sandwich? I completely forgot she was vegetarian so that was a bit awkward. I have nearly burnt my house down on two occasions. It was in year seven and do you know when you're like trying to make your homework on a for history or something? She burned the edges and you put it in like your tea stain it all well, I was burning the edges and the whole paper set alight, like the whole thing just the same. I ran through the house guys, but my mum hangs like all the washing from the banisters and I nearly caught fire for all of our clothes and the house like, you know, nearly got burnt down. And the other occasion was when I was probably about seven and I put wheat bits in the microwave but I actually forgot to put milk in the bowl. So I nearly blocked the microwave. I'm a bit of a Harry Potter fan, I say a bit of a Harry Potter fan, I've read every single book and watched every single film like my brother bought me a wand and he stumbled on one. So I was happy. <coughs> Eyes are burning. In May 2015, I did a gig in Leeds and it was my first ever gig. I really enjoyed it and I sang Rip Tried by Avant. But, um, yeah, and for my 30th birthday, my mum and dad also booked for me to come to the recording studio. So I have my own CD with my own photo on it. I've literally been singing since I could speak. Like there's, my mum and dad have like loads of home videos. We was watching them a couple months ago and me and my sister were singing in the hallway and she was singing a lot louder than me and I shouted and I go, I can't hear myself and I slapped her. I actually, in primary school, got an umbrella stuck in my mouth. I just don't want to go to university to me, so that's one thing I'm not going to do. The last fact about me is that I would really, 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 really like to travel the world. Yeah, 
that is the end of my video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Make sure you come back every Sunday at 6pm for a new video and click on the little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a video. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe down below. And I'll see you all next week and I love you all and bye!